Latter-day Saints, as with other followers of Jesus Christ, are always looking for ways to help. When we love God with all our hearts, He turns our hearts to the well-being of others in a beautiful, virtuous cycle. The Church's humanitarian outreach was launched in 1984. Then a church-wide fast was held to raise funds to assist those afflicted by a devastating drought in Eastern Africa. Since that time, Latter-day Saint Charities has provided more than $2 billion in aid to assist those in need throughout the world. We love and live the ancient law of the fast. We go hungry to help others who are hungry. For I was an hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. To help relieve hunger, the church operates 124 bishop storehouses throughout the world. Through them, approximately 400,000 food orders are given each year to individuals in need. A recent United Nations report indicated that the number of undernourished people in the world now exceeds 820 million. Thanks to your heartfelt generosity, Millions throughout the world will receive much-needed food, clothing, temporary shelter, wheelchairs, and more. More than 70 million people are now displaced from their homes. In the year 2018 alone, the church provided emergency supplies to refugees in 56 countries. In addition, many church members volunteer their time to help refugees integrate into new communities. Through generous donations to Deseret Industries outlets in the United States, millions of pounds of clothing are collected and sorted each year. While local bishops use this vast inventory to help members in need, the greatest portion is donated to other charitable organizations who distribute the items worldwide. Last year alone, the church carried out more than 100 disaster relief projects around the world, helping victims of hurricanes, fires, floods, earthquakes, and other calamities. Whenever possible, our church members in yellow helping hands vests mobilize in great numbers to help those afflicted by the disaster. This kind of service, rendered by so many of you, is the very essence of ministering. And you are the ones who make all this possible because of your exemplary lives, your generous hearts, and your helping hands. Members of the church feel passionately about the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. Our greatest joy comes as we help our brothers and sisters no matter where we live in this wonderful world. Living that second great commandment is the key to becoming a true disciple of Jesus Christ. I so testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.